All right. Elias, just take us through being back up here at Tennessee. What did you enjoy about this official visit? I mean, it was a great, um, had a really great time. Great being back up here in uh, Neyland. It was, uh, how should I say it? It was great being able to see the game day, their game day experience again. I mean, 102,000 people, the stadium was back and it was loud, especially on that first play when he took it 75 yards. You had the opportunity to be back up here, you know, be up here at Te for the Texas a &M game. Just kind of what was different this time around, given the fact you were here multiple days and had a chance to get to learn a little bit more about the program. Well, I kind of got to talk with the coaches a little more the last time. It was we kind of how to fit everything into one. I mean, I got here on game day, so they was kind of rushed. But this week at this game kind of gave me a chance to take everything a little bit slower, really actually look at the campus and everything. What did you learn about the program this week? This weekend that stood out more. Oh, well, you know, kind of one of the you know big things that really stood out to me is kind of how they rotate and play their players. You know, kind of like everywhere, especially on the D line. You know, Coach Garner really um, he really believes in rotating players. You know, giving everybody a chance. I mean, they have two true freshmen who are playing, so that's really good for, for me to hear. What did you learn more about your fit this weekend? How do they see you fitting in if you were to come here? They kind of see, well, you know, talking to Coach Garner and Coach Banks, they kind of see me as a guy who can, you know, play everywhere from all up and down the line, to, you know, outside linebacker to inside to end everywhere. So, you know, because, you know, especially you know, them watching my tapes, they see I'm a versatile guy and can play anywhere on the field. What was the opportunity like to talk to Coach Hopple this weekend? What do you like about him? You know, I've kind of loved his, uh, you know, competitive nature. We were always talking about, you know, games and tell me when or, you know, I lose, you know, like bowling or anything like that. You know, it was just a great time talking. It was, you know, kind of stepping away from football more, just like, you know, him, you know, being a coach and a mentor. Uh, just seeing, seeing the game the atmosphere again, was that, was that, I mean, you've been here before for a pretty good game. Was that, you know, anything about this different from last time when you mentioned the first play? And all I mean, yeah, it's, it's definitely way more louder than it was last time, especially being this game. But, you know, also, I mean, y'all know they did lose. It's nothing was up they wanted. But it kind, of, it kind of gave me a chance to see, how, like, how the crowd and everybody reacted to when they, to a losing game. And it kind of gave me a chance to see the difference. Okay, so now I've seen the winning, now it's time to see the losing. Because, you know, can't get too wrapped up in, you know, the 102 people when it's not when they're winning, you know, because there are going to be some bad days where I lose games. Kind of, what did this weekend do for Tennessee? You're trying to process a lot in a hurry in your recruitment. It picked up steam pretty fast. So what did this weekend do for Tennessee? Did they help their calls with you? I mean, yeah, they definitely did, you know, getting to actually speak to all of them again. Just way more in depth, too, especially for my family. Kind of give my family a chance. Because, you know, it, you know, you know about me, about me spending my next four years, well, me and my family, they're going to be with me every step of the way. So I have to make sure it's good for them, too. When you look at you know, this weekend with your family. What were they able to enjoy about the trip? You know, you know, kind of the same thing as me. It was like the game day, the, you know, the game day experience, but also like really getting out to hang out with the coaches. And the coaches kind of swallowed because they worked so hard. So, you know, kind of them getting spoiled, you know, eating all the food they want and this and that. was kind of, you know, one of the great things for them. One of the big things you wanted to see coming into the weekend really here was you know conversation with the current players on the roster what did you learn from those guys who did you have communication with there the most I already talked with uh, Shadir and Bradley he's uh, a freshman there he plays outside linebacker now you know kind of you know talk with him and everything about you know kind of how the season's going he even told me like how even no matter where I go that he's still being a connection with me and that we're family now which is you know something I didn't definitely get behind because you know I mean somebody who wants to be your brother if you want to go somewhere else, which means that they'll be a great brother if you do, if I do come to Tennessee. Do you know kind of what your next step is now or how, how soon do you want to make a decision from here? Oh, probably, uh, you know, come back, spend the, uh, you know, kind of limited contact, really spend the rest of the, spend things, give me a break with my family. Cause I mean, this is the only time I'm really gonna actually be off. You know, no basketball, no football, no school. So, you know, spend this whole entire week with them because you know, it's. From me, you know, being on calls, texting with coaches, at school, visits and stuff, we're all, you know, kind of drained. So we can take this time, go home with them, talk it over with them, and have a great break. And, and finally, just Tennessee, what, what kind of, I mean, did they make you feel like a priority this weekend? What kind of attention did you get from the staff and everything? To... Uh, you know, I got really big attention. Coach Harpo said that I'm not wanted, I'm needed, that, uh, that they want guys who can come in and really make an impact. Then, you know, those are the guys that want those guys recruiting. You told me, like, I wouldn't be here if they didn't think I could play on Sunday nights. Last, thanks for your time. Yes, sir.